Cyberpunk has a total of three, excuse me, four romance options throughout the story. Two for the male character and two for the female character. However, it feels more like one romance option for the female V as River Ward is definitely the worst romance option in the entire game. So bad that I forget he exists, or rather I prefer to avoid him entirely as he simply just tries to guilt trip and manipulate you into dating him. This video will contain spoilers, so let's dive into why River Ward is the worst romance option in Cyberpunk 2077. You first meet River after taking on a job for Elizabeth Perales called I Fought the Law. You end up contacting him to investigate the suspicious death of Night City's mayor. You follow a couple leads and end up at an underground club and solve the case. Sort of. It seems like a normal job, but River will contact you about a day later. When you meet up with him, he tells you that his nephew has been missing for around a month. Although he never did anything about it, and doesn't even seem to care until after you met. This is just a way for River to ask you out on a date, in a way that you couldn't possibly say no. As we find out later, he's never actually around his family to begin with. River. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. You may think he's only acting now because the kid was wearing Randy's shoes, although you can't even see his shoes in the video, and he clearly states that he isn't able to go anywhere near the guy, and since he was kicked off the force right after the events of I Fought the Law, he wouldn't be allowed to see the kid's body. On top of that, he clearly doesn't seem to be in any kind of rush. So we're headed to a lab to find Peter Pan's dreams. How's that for a fairy tale? During this quest, we visit a police station to find any leads and head to River's sister's house. However, on your way out of the police station, Johnny Silverhand will pull the Big Brother card and warn you about River's intentions. He tells you that maybe River is just trying to get into your pants. Cops seem to like you. Could be this one sniffing around for something extra. <laughs> no, River's alright. Mm, yeah. Can tell you got something to say, so say it. Me? No, no, just maybe this cop's flying straight in your pants. After going to the trailer park where Joss lives, you stay the night and dive into some BDs to find Randy's location. When you get to the farm, you break into the barn and set the captured kids free. River thanks you for your help and that's that. At first glance, it doesn't seem like anything crazy, just helping a friend. Which to V, it was. However, after a couple days, he will call you inviting you over for dinner with his family to thank you, where he drops the most cringe and piss poor attempt at flirting. I mean, I've seen high school boys with better riz. Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I've missed you, you know. <laughs> Please, River, it hasn't been that long since we last saw each other. Oh, that's true, I guess. Uh, anyway, you'll come by, right? <laughs> This just goes to show that rescuing his nephew was just a ploy to spend time with you and make it seem like he actually cared about his family. When his sister tells us that he's never even around, River is lying to V, trying to make her believe he's a family man. He also claims to know how to cook and cooks dinner. However, later on you can find what is the cyberpunk equivalent to googling how to cook an easy dinner to impress a girl. Just another ruse to get into your pants. During dinner, he has his family ambush you with talks about wedding bells. You know, because you can't reject a guy during family dinner. He manipulates you into not being able to reject him without looking like a bad person. Which is definitely psychopath behavior. And my brother likes you. Just. Who thinks me and Uncle River make a good couple? Well, that's decided. After dinner, he takes you up to the top of the water tower where he drops even more pathetic attempts at flirting on par with a middle school boy, proving that Johnny Silverhand was right about his intentions of just trying to get into your pants. But now that the two of you are alone, you can finally reject him. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. Listen, River. If you expect this to evolve somehow. Don't stand a chance, do I? River is your typical portrayal of a nice guy. 
a psychopath who lies to you and bends over backwards just to get your approval instead of your connection being happenstance. He invites you over to cook for you because, let's face it, women like men who can cook. But River doesn't know how to cook. He just uses a cooking tutorial to wet in your sandwich, so to speak. Nice guys typically don't be themselves, but rather they put on a facade to impress the ladies. The worst part about this romance option is how incredibly insistent the game is on putting you two together when he has literally nothing to offer. And that is why River Ward is the worst romance option in the entire game. Now ladies, this just shows that when your guy friends warn you about other men, instead of blowing them off completely or defriending them entirely, maybe you listen to their warnings. No one knows men better than other men. If you take anything away from this video, let it be that. Let me know in the comments who was your favorite romance option and why. And if you say River, I will advise you to seek psychiatric help immediately. And feel free to subscribe for more content in the future. Anyways, I'll see you later.